What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay! So, uh, yeah, look at the damage that we've done. Yeah, that was all us right there. We went Super Saiyan and destroyed the ultimate weapon. Yeah. Anywho, in the, well, in the last episode, we actually finished up the whole, uh, the whole event of, uh, Team Flare and all that crud, and now it is time for us to finally go continue our adventure right here, that is, uh, you know, go to Anistar City and just move on, because we have seven badges, and, uh, well, I think we're looking in for our, for our eighth badges right here, I think, I don't even know, okay, so, here we are, Anistar City, and now, after doing the events of, uh, you know, Team Flare and all that stuff, we can actually get the heck out of here, and we're getting a holo clip uh, message. So, as you can see, Sycamore's like, do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face-to-face. -face. Let's be in Kuruway Town. Okay, alrighty. Homeboy wants to talk? We can talk. First and foremost, I want to talk to you about the whole mom issue. Why in the heck would you be talking to my mom or sending her a letter? I still haven't forgotten that. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and uh, now be on our way. Let's see. Greetings, sir. This is the gate to Route 18. Thank you. Thank you very much. And these guys will no longer stop you or anything like that. And here we are, Route 18, Valet Erotai, or... Er, 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 wait, what did I say? I can't even say it in French or anything like that. I'm not even going to try and say it with the nasal uh, the nasal uh, accent. Uh, Etroy... Oh, it's right way. Badly, it's right way. Look at that. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this guy. Rose of rock, Rose of steel. Here we walk. Happy we feel. Okay, alrighty. Nice rhyme and everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon and start talking about business, like a lot of business, because you know it's been a while since we were here. Not really. We just. Yeah, kind of defeated Team Plasma and, or Team Flare and all that stuff. With my shorts on, there is no stopping me. I can go anywhere. Huh. Okay, so here we go. Youngster Jaden wants the battle coming with his sk Scolipede. Now, after you defeat Team Flare, you're going to be seeing a lot more stronger Pokemon, especially around this area right here. I seriously thought that we could have captured, like, a, a Pupitar or a Larvitar around here. So, let's go right ahead and just beat everybody down. And, uh, wow. Well, I didn't know that this Pokemon was faster than my Pokemon. So here we go. And Scolipede has been, uh, well, lowered its HP. I think Rock-type Pokemon is stronger than, uh, than uh, Bug-type, right? I do not know. So here we go. Oh, yes, that sounded good, and it was good. Okay, alrighty. So any good guys, uh, we're, we're close to being done with this walkthrough right here. I'm very, very excited because uh, well, a few days ago, I have revealed that we are able to actually play Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon now that we have a, very, a better capture card. And look at that, Pinsir. No more. Okay, alrighty. Oh, look at that, Kakashi Hitake kicking ass. And he's finally learning a Hydro Pump right here, so let's see. Yeah, not in not not in your life. I know Hydro Pump is a very very strong move, but it's very inaccurate as well. Do not want to risk it. I kind of need more accurate moves than anything. And uh, yeah, we defeated this guy. He was good. Whatever. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure there's an item right here. Yes, I was right. Here we have a Hyper Potion. And well, we're gonna take that and just move on ahead. And well, in this area right here, you'll be able to find some strong Pokemon too. Do not want to mess with those guys right now, cause uh, yeah, do not want to mess with those guys. Uh, let's see, where is my repel? Ah, screw it. Do not care. Right now, at this moment, do not care. Let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon we have, or whatever. And look at that. We get attacked by one of the Pokemon right here. And look at. That we found ourselves a Durant. This is the first time we've seen a Durant in ever. And it, well, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be hitting it, trying to attack it and stuff. Still a bug type Pokemon, and it's still a steel type Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna capture him for the collection right here. Let's see, Netball. Let's see if the Netball will win. Alrighty, stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. There it is, guys. I am uh, throwing out the peace sign right now because, well, 
Durant's part of our group right now. Group of a stack of Pokemon that we have right here. And look at this. Durant, the bug and steel down Pokemon. Individuals each play or yeah, individuals each play different roles in driving heat more. They're natural predator away from their colony. Oh wow. And believe it or not, you can actually find heat more right here too. Okay, so let's see. You need cut to go through this area right here, and well, let's see. I think uh, let, let's see if we can actually teach one of our Pokemon cut, and then let's see, return its move. Let's see, Kakashi attack it. I'm gonna check you out first. Let's see, what moves can I actually get you to forget? Smackdown, Aerial Ace. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take away Aerial Ace for the time being. We've already passed the move deleter, so we can always teach Aerial Ace back, so it's no biggie right here, guys. What we're trying to do is... Tr we're, we're trying not to, like, replace any Pokemon right now, so we're gonna go through this area right here. Bam! Cut. And look what we find right here. We find some uh, some new berries, but we found a, um, I guess a slide board, or sliding board, or I don't even know. And our sliding bar, look at this, it's gonna take us all the way down right here. And we found ourselves a PP up right there, which is nice. And well, that's pretty much a shortcut right there. If you if you guys don't want to battle that battle girl right there, then that's fine. But you know, it's always nice to get some more experience points. And well, here we have Graveler wanting to attack us, wanting to battle us, and all that crud. Now I think we're close to an uh, I think a cave. Yeah, we're close to a cave right here where. You can actually find a legendary Pokemon. The only thing is, I won't be going in there right now because, well, uh, there's no point in, in doing that stuff. And, well, let's go ahead and start switching out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and battle some more trainers because, hey, you know what? It's always good to battle other trainers and not always uh, battle Team Flare and all that crud. So, here we go. Bring it. Hiker Orestes. That's a good name right there. Orestes and crud. This guy's coming out with a uh, what was it called? Uh, a stungfish. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's go with a smack it down on its candy ass right here. Bam. Courtesy of the rock. That was not effective and oh, crud. So yeah, this Pokemon is uh, he's ready to battle right here. So let's go right ahead and go with a surf. Let's go with clean water. Let's try not to pollute this whole place. And it was super effective. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now, I got a quick question. I haven't played the games yet, but... It kind of occurred to me while I was playing Pokemon Go. Uh, is there another form of Stunfish? Or does Stunfish has a new form in the uh, Gala region? Comment down below, guys, because I had a I had a, a Pokemon egg that hatched into a Stunfish, and it was different. It was green. So, yeah, just let me know. And let's see, what is this house right here? Well, if you go in here, you talk to this individual. Tell me you want, uh, you tell, or let me tell you about my brother's mysterious power. With it, you can reverse Pokemon type matchups. It's really crazy. Normally, a fire type would, uh, would be super effective against a grass type Pokemon. But my brother's uh, mysterious power, it's the opposite. Fire type moves are, uh, become not very effective against a uh, grass type Pokemon. What are you waiting for? Get out there and try to use many super effective moves as you can. Hmm. You have me intrigued. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I wasn't expecting a visitor in, uh, in a place like this. Hmm, you seem to be a pretty good trainer. Shall we uh, have a rather strange Pokemon battle? I call this an inverse battle. With my mysterious power, I will reverse type matchups for a while. Super effective uh, moves will not be a very effective. Moves that are not very effective will be super effective. What do you think? Does it sound fun? You may understand it in theory, but when you try it, you'll find that it's more difficult than you thought. Would you care to uh, try an inverse battle? Sure, let's do this. Okay. So, inverse battles. Remember, guys, it's vice versa. Try not to use the... the, the well, try using moves that don't normally uh, work onto these Pokemon right here. Now, water-type moves would normally work on this guy right here. So, I'm assuming normal type moves would work, right? Nope, not so effective and... Oh, crud. Outrage. Not very effective, but still kicks my butt. Uh, let's go with a Smackdown. 
here we go. Okay, so that was effective. And here comes its outrage again. Ah, oh, crap. So, Kakashi got his butt kicked pretty badly right there. So, let's see. Now you're confused. Alright, let's see. What attack would not be normal or would, wouldn't work on this guy? Okay, so Floodbolt got has power gem. So, this would actually be a good type of matchup or something. Or I don't even know. I'm even confused myself. So, here we go. Power gem for the win. The Power Rangers. Alrighty. And look at that. Floodbolt grows to level 54. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with an Emolga. Let's see. Emolga would have to be weak against... Uh, let's see. Okay, so Electric-type moves. Alright, let's go to Goku then. Damn, I'm like getting confused here right now. <laughs> Good old Draven getting confused just as always. And here comes uh, Goku right here. And Emolga is looking like a badass Pikachu. So let's see what uh, Bone Rush can do. Let's see. U-turn. What the? Oh, balls. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, this, again, this is really, really getting uh, yeah, out of control right here. So here we have a Ferrothorn. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Okay, so... Damn, I'm getting really confused. Very, very confused. Okay, so it's got Iron Barbs. And let's see. How about Magical Leaf? Let's see. Okay, so that is super effective. And what is this guy doing? Lauren, it's... Uh, oh, damn. Okay, so... And what the hell is this Pokemon doing? Oh, shoot. It's like... This is like battling competitively. All right, here we go. There we go. Magical Leaf for the win. All right. Okay. Now, the uh, I'm ready for that Emolga right here because... Uh, Mogas always seem to be uh, like a, a little thorn on my ass, so bring it. Let's see. Screw it! Let's go with a psychic attack, and what the hell is this guy doing? A light screen. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick right here. Here we go. Not very effective, but still hits him in the right spot. I win this match. Jesus. Okay, so... Man, I, I, yeah, it, it really it, it really confuses you just because, you, you know, you're just trying to figure out what moves that don't work now work. And he's like, great! You understand inverse battles pretty well, so I'll give you this. And we get ourselves a Tenga Berry. Tenga, Tenga Berry, thanks for making my Pokemon faint. And, well, now it is time for us to actually revive some Pokemon right here because, uh, well, you know, we got our asses kicked in an inverse battle, so... Let's go ahead and revive our good old buddy Kakashi Hitake. And Goku right here. And you know what? Hyper Potions. They're never too bad. There we go. And we get this one. Kakashi Hitake right there. Okay. So let's go in and move on right here. I think we've already battled this guy. Yes, we've already battled this guy. Okay, so like I said, guys, there is a... Uh, there is... Well... This is the mountain, an entranceway, and all that stuff. You will be able to actually find a legendary Pokemon right here. And there are different entrance and uh, exits right here. We won't be going in right now because... Yeah. Technically speaking, uh, that will have to be uh, put... Like, that will be put on hold for the later episodes right here, after we're done. Probably like the uh, the after game or something. Because there's really not a lot of stuff that you, uh, you can do on the after game. And, well, let's see, we're just gonna get attacked by Pokemon. Why get attacked by Pokemon, I do not know. And look at that, Lyrn! Definitely a good Pokemon to actually have. Alright, you know what, I would like to capture the, the pre-evolved form Pokemon right here. Okay, so, let's see. There's a beautiful girl right here. Oh no! Oh no, I'm late, I'm late! Watch out, watch out! Okay. Alrighty. So here we go, Sarah wants the battle and she is coming out with her Gramble. Look at this Pokemon, looking all mean and everything. So I'm going with this guy Kakashi Hitake, but we're getting it, we're gonna get intimidated for just a tad bit. And let's go Surf Attack. Now, there has been uh, 
Let's see, what have I been talking about as of lately? Now, yeah, I will be done with this game by the end of this month, October. And Godzilla's Learning Inferno. What does this move do? Oh, damn. The user attacks by engulfing the target in intense fire. This leaves the target with the burn, but it's a 50% accuracy, so that's not going to work. Yeah, we're, we're going to be done with this whole uh, walkthrough by the time, you know, we're, we're done with this month right here. It leaves us with, like, maybe two months left of, in this year, and so far, guys, we are close to 8,000 subscribers, so, uh, again, tell your friends about me, get your get the subscriber count all the way out to, uh, to 8,000 by the time we're done. I kind of realized that maybe 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month, it, it's going to have to take a drastic uh, measures and all that stuff, but I'm very, very optimistic that we will achieve it by the time, I don't know, somewhere around 2021 and all that crud. And, uh, well, with uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon coming, I'm very, very happy. Now, here we are in Kuwe Town, and, well, this is the next town over. We have to locate Professor Sycamore right here, so, let's see, where would the guy be? Where would a French professor be? Hmm. Huh. Oh, look at this! This is, uh, what, what is this? I don't know. The Kuwe Station. Talk to this lady. I have two uh, of the TM uh, for U-Turn. Here, I'll share one with you. And here we have U-Turn. Yeah, buddy, okay. That guy is always changing my mind. Well, one U-Turn deserves another. I didn't, I didn't, okay, cool. And look at that, we found ourselves a rare candy. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else that we can actually find right here? Now, rare candies... We're already done evolving our Pokemon, so now that those rare candies are not going to be very, very useful for us. I really like the story of, of the Magikarp climbing the waterfall. Huh, really? You don't say... Stop getting in my way. Now, if you sit right here... Let's see what it says. Look at that. I found my thumbnail, guys. I found my thumbnail. Okay, so let's move on and, 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 and try and find Professor Elm right here. Or, not Professor Elm, but Professor Sycamore. Still thinking of Pokemon like... Pokemon uh, Let's Go, or no, uh, the Johto series and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go in here first. There's really not a lot that you can find in this town except for these people. I want to be loved. Do you have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle? I do. But it's in my PC. I wish that I were a Pokemon. Then I could live every day with them. Really? With this guy? Who? I love the ability war, uh, or the ability war on TV. I wish I had a Pokemon ability. Whoa! Protein! The hell? Okay, so I, I really didn't understand that. It is what it is. Let's move on right here, guys. We're going to try and find a Professor Sycamore and this guy talking about abilities. Nothing. Okay. And hello! You've heard that song before, guys. And here it is. Professor Sycamore. I have to apologize to you about Lissandre. I'm very sorry for the trouble he caused. And I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all the Pokemon and the people of the world. And by stopping a Team Flare, you also saved Lissandre. I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of people and Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without. If all th living things keep acting the way, there will be nothing left at the end of, at all the end. Why there won't even be anything left to steal, will there? But what I really wanted, uh, really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything into greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though, so I'm particularly responsible for this. Well, enough of, enough of that. Draven! I want you and your Pokemon to take everything you learned from your journey and hit me with, every, with your best shot. Huh. So here it is, guys. Another battle against Professor Sycamore himself. This guy right here coming out with this Venusaur. I was prepared. I'm better prepared for this guy right here. So here we go. Godzilla, Godzilla, ready to kick butt, take names, and you know what? Send him home to his mama. And here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And uh, no more Venusaur. I'm feeling good about that. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Blastoise, so I got a good Pokemon for him. Let's go, Fluff Bolt. Anywho. Yeah, we're damn close, guys. We're very, very close to finishing this walkthrough. 
And like I said, Sun and Moon, it's a for sure thing now that we have a wired capture card. Uh, let's see. Again, go to my community page right here on my channel to vote on which Pokemon game you want me to play, Pokemon Sun or Moon. Again, the winner, the winner of that, you know, that whole little poll right there will be the walkthrough I will be playing after this game right here. And remember, eventually I will be playing Pokemon Ultra, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. The winner of the previous poll, the, or you guys wouldn't know, I will be playing the pre, the, the opposite of what you guys have voted in, or whatever. If that makes any sense right there, which it really doesn't. And, oh, he's coming out with a Charizard. I am prepared for this guy right here. Love Volt. You know what? It's time. I know it's overkill, but I kind of want to do it. Let's Digivolve. Oh, yes. Amphrosite. Yeah! Press that button. Look at that. Digivolve to Mega Amphros. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's got cool horns, Super Saiyan God hair, breaks the mold, and oh wow, we're getting slashed at. And here we go with a power gem. Oh yes, quadruple damage, say goodbye Charizard. Oh yes, oh yeah, look at that. Blood Vault grows to level 55, and that's how you do the work. And well, we've defeated Professor Sycamore right here, he's like, you really are something. You and your Pokemon have developed strong bonds and spending time together and by caring one by one another. That's why you and your Pokemon are so strong. Yes, that's right. I'm very strong. You heard it from the man himself. Okay, and the strength you found is uh, simply marvelous. And you truly love it and trust your Pokemon. Draven, a tracer of mine is not, is hidden in this town. If you'd like, try and find it. Well, it, I'll be off then. I have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned for all of you. Thank you for fighting Team Flare or and saving Kalos. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So let's see. Hold on just a sec, guys. Okay. Well, let's go. Kind of a. Uh, had to go to the restroom real quick. Okay. So there is a small treasure right here from Professor Sycamore. We're gonna try and find it before we finish this episode. In an album, you see pictures that make you remember the excitement you felt at the time. In Dandemilid Town, you can make Pokemon remember moves once they once knew. This is true. That is why we can we can always go back there and stuff. And well, let's see. Have you uh, have you visited the art museum in Lumioi Town or City? Why is it always a town? Which Pokemon did you pick uh, as your partner first? Dot dot dot. Oh really, Froakie? Then I guess I guess you got uh, you get the Froakie quiz. True or false? Froakie is a height of one foot four inches. True. Damn! Okay, never mind. Okay, so Froki, that's a no. Okay, 15 pounds. It felt like 15 pounds. Bingo! I knew you'd get it! I'm so glad you got it right. So here's your reward, and here we have a Mystic Water. Things would go probably the same if uh, you play, if you actually voted for another Pokemon right here. Looking at the Pokedex is great. Sometimes Pokemon turn out to be bigger than or smaller than you expect. Not true. This is true. Mimic, huh? It'll be, uh, it'll let you use the last move an opponent used during battle. Because that mimics it like to do it is to learn and copy another people, right? This is true. Very, very true. Have you met the mimic girl? I do not know. Okay, so let's see. There is a hidden treasure right here. And, uh, well, let's see. The exit is right here, which we'll be heading into in the next episode. But here we are. There's a hotel. And you guys already know where, who we're going to find in this place right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. You have a Pokedex? Here, let me give you a Pokemon quiz. What does a Lil Scrub disguise itself as a potential to as to find potential prey? Kelp. Okay. Scrub and Kelp. And look at that. We get ourselves a TM55 Scald, a very nice move. Imagining the stuff in the Pokedex makes you makes the world strong bigger and bigger. True. And let's see. I've heard that a thousand years ago the Kalos region was mostly forest. It was. Too bad they don't really go into the into detail with that. I hear that there is a waterfall that flows backwards somewhere in the world. I really want to see that. Oh. When I say waterfall, what's the first thing that comes to mind? It's crazy how you get so many different answers uh, to the uh, to the question. Seriously, try asking your friends. Waterfall. Really? You don't say waterfall. 
Okay, alrighty, so let's see. Uh, let's talk to this lady. This is my first vacation in such a long time. You know, it's been a while since I've had a vacation. I need to take one soon because, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully, maybe, just maybe, we will be coming back out of this pandemic and stuff. And look at that, the old powers, bonding man, he's here. And so I'm going to take whatever he gives me, and we get ourselves stealth power level one. Alrighty, okay. Alright, so let's get the heck out of here. What is next? Right here on a Gym Leader Draven. I do have that voice for a commentator, like a narrator, for a TV or something. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of you guys say my voice is not annoying. This is the reason why you comment or you 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 went to my channel. And I thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Um, how about the Corway Town's famous uh, fresh water? It's 300 a bottle. Sure, let's get this. And we get ourselves some fresh water. Delicious. Awesome water. And we get ourselves an Oran Berry, which is good. And, well, let's see. Where is this treasure? It can't be this. It's a max potion. Okay, so... I don't know where the... Where the okay, so what? what is his, uh, his treasure? I do not know. Now, here's an area right here where you can actually surf. And... Let's get this. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, you can go right here, I guess. Do I have waterfall? Can I use waterfall? Let's see. Let's see. Where are you, waterfall? No, I do not have waterfall. Hmm. Kind of foreshadowing or something. I don't even know. Okay, so that will have to be taken care of later. But in the meantime, we're going to go straight to the Pokemon Center and just stop. Take a nice visit and relax and all that crud. And then we will come back in the next episode for a fun-filled adventure right here. Because we are close to the next town, city, whatever. It's going to get chilly. Thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you guys next time.